Long ago and far away, before there were iPhones and iPads, there was the, I can type 30 words a minute. So instead of writing everything we know on these tiny little phone pads using our thumbs, people were actually using both hands and all their fingers to write on crisp, clean, white paper. That was the era of the All-American Typewriter, which has essentially vanished now. But today, we're going to meet Bill Wall, a man who is keeping those QWERTY little keys alive and clicking. Mm. Hey kids, hear that? It's the sound of words being printed on paper. Listen to the rhythmic tap, tap, tapping of the keys striking the rubber roll. Okay, this is really embarrassing, Bill. Is this called hunt and peck, yeah, what I'm basically doing? Yeah. But is it really like riding a bicycle? Do those of us who grew up writing English lit reports on portable Smith Coronas really never forget? I mean, I don't want to date myself or anything, but I seem to remember using a typewriter sometime. Now, <laughs> now, now what was the, uh, what, what, what is the hand position of a typewriter, really, yeah, the, if you really want to do it right? Yeah, the home row, just JKL, you know. Okay, JKL. Yeah, and then FDSA. FDSA. Right. Wow, isn't it amazing how, you know, you could have used a typewriter at some point in your life, and now we have progressed and used computers and iPads and all the stuff that we talked about, right. and now you go back and it feels so foreign. Yeah. Okay, it's starting to come back to me now. Hear that soothing sound the little bell makes each time you reach the other side of the paper margin? There are no heavy elephant thud sounds, no whiny, high-pitched beeps, and at no time do I ever have to log into the typewriter. It always knows who I am. It never has the audacity to ask me to identify myself before using it. Tell me who your customer would be. Who would, I mean, who would come in and buy a typewriter nowadays? I've got older people that don't have a computer, they don't want one, and they're still keeping on their same typewriter mm -hmm. they've had for years. Mm -hmm. um, I have a number of businesses that will still keep a, a nice office grade typewriter around for odds and ends, but I'm getting more and more younger people that are going for more of the older manual portable typewriters and they're usually writers. I remember getting, trying to get used to an iPhone mm -hmm. and trying to do the thumbs and I couldn't feel it. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that tactile sensation. Yeah. And now you put your fingers on something like this and you literally feel every right. key. It's, yeah, it's a different touch. It is so different. Right. I had a, a, a mom bring a typewriter in. It was right before Christmas and she wanted to get it, uh, you know, fixed up for her daughter. And the daughter had never seen it, but she knew she was getting a typewriter and so we, we set it up and the daughter was all, she, you could tell she was excited to get it and her eyes were big and, and the mom says, well, go ahead, type on it and try it. And as the daughter came to type on it, she actually extended her thumbs as if she was going to text on it. And myself and her mom just busted out laughing and she was kind of embarrassed because literally she didn't even know. I mean, texting, I'm sure is all she does. Royal, Smith Corona, Underwood, Remington, and even Woodstock. Bill Walls got them all. This third generation keeper of the ribbon spool and other parts of an era of real life mad men and women still opens and closes up shop in downtown Mesa. But even he has to wonder for how long. I have a son, but he's not interested in doing this at all. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is gonna die with me whatever such, such time I'm ready to be done with this. We hope Bill's not ready for a good long time. <laughs>